A venous ulcer cured by a single treatment of TRAP. Three-dimensional regenerative ambulatory phlebotherapy, TRAP, treats the walls of the veins and restores functionally correct circulation. The solution used, which is injected through the vessels visible to the naked eye or on transillumination, reaches the perforating veins, reducing their diameter, strengthening the vessel walls and restoring continence. The recovery of hemodynamic and hydrostatic functions enables venous ulcers to heal rapidly. Reducing excessive capacity alleviates pain and eliminates the sensation of heavy legs. In the case described here, hemodynamic hypertension had acted locally to create trophic lesions, which gave rise to an ulcer. Caused by an incontinent perforating vein, the ulcer had been present for more than a year. After a single treatment of TRAP, it healed within three weeks. Ulcers caused by hydrostatic thrust occur in the most distal region of the limb, where the hydrostatic pressure is highest. These dependent ulcers are due to increased hydrostatic thrust, which is directly proportional to the diameter of the vessel. The hydrostatic thrust is the product of the hydrostatic pressure multiplied by the internal diameter of the vein per one centimeter of height. Unlike transmural pressure, which is a relative value, hydrostatic thrust is an absolute value. That is to say, it is a force that can easily be measured in grams per square centimeter and is able to act on the trophism of the perivascular tissues. If the hydrostatic thrust is excessive, it gives rise to a phlebostatic ulcer. TRAP begins, as always, from the most dependent areas of the limb. Transillumination, together with the new infrared optical systems, enables the veins to be visualized, despite the skin dystrophy that is typical of these patients. All of the visible veins are injected with a quantity of solution that is sufficient to reach the perforating veins. All three regions of the limb are injected, medial, posterior and lateral. Particular care is taken to inject the solution into the perforating veins in the vicinity of the skin ulcer. Nevertheless, a trap must be carried out on the entire superficial and perforating circulation through every visible access. The video shows the difficulty of injecting the solution into the veins when the skin is dystrophic. It is therefore important to intervene preemptively before trophic skin lesions arise. After three weeks, thanks to the restoration of functional integrity, this ulcer had healed without any change being made in the type of medication applied. Clearly, medication alone is unable to cure a venous ulcer. The hemodynamic or hydrostatic cause of the ulcer must be tackled. By treating the walls of the veins, TRAP restores the correct functioning of the venous circulation by eliminating valvular incontinence, as in this case of an ulcer caused by a perforating vein, or by reducing the diameter of the most dependent veins, as in the treatment of phlebostatic dependent ulcers. In some cases, the ulcer may close even if the underlying cause is not remedied. It will, however, inevitably recur. The extreme efficacy of TRAP suggests that it should be used not only in the treatment of venous ulcers caused by hemodynamic alterations or by hydrostatic thrust, but also in their prevention.